you, I'm Chris Hassel, joined by Amanda Guerra. Uh, it's the first Monday of the new year. Kind of Happy holiday hangover, I, I would say. A little bit, yeah. For a lot of people. I but, tried uh, thinking if we had to come to work today. Look, we're, we're employed. Antonio Brown is not, right? It, it was his own no. choice. Um, he says it that he had an ankle injury, but you, you saw him running off the field, jumping around. It didn't look like he was injured, did it? No, it kind of looked like he was doing some jumping jacks, except uh, when we saw him last on the field, he was not wearing a shirt like he no. is in this, or a jersey for that matter. Needless to say, it was one of the most bizarre things I think most of us have seen. In a football game, there is Antonio Brown in the third quarter of the Bucks win in that game. Taking his shirt off, taking his gloves off, taking his pads off, throwing it into the stands. This is while the game was going on. Then there's the jumping jack. Sad doesn't look too injured. Waving goodbye. Apparently got into an Uber after that. Uh, promoting, what, a latest rap single. Look, Antonio Brown's had a lot of issues. Bruce Arians after the game said he's not a Buck anymore, but he has been peppered with questions about that today. The perception is that AB Antonio Brown quit. We all saw him walk off the field, but he wouldn't go in the game because he was injured and now he's no longer part of the team. Can you can you fire a player if he won't go because he's injured? I don't know that he was. Did he did he say that he was or was there a dispute no. about that? No. He just refused to go in or can you tell us more about it? Not really. I mean, it ha what happened is pretty obvious what happened. So, uh, you know, he left the field and that was it. Okay, thanks. We'll go to Greg Allman. Bruce, just to clarify on AB, so, so you didn't tell him to leave. He left completely on his own in this thing yesterday. We had a conversation and he left the field, yeah. Let's welcome in senior NFL writer Pete Prisco, two-time Super Bowl champ Brian McFadden. Uh, regardless of what the conversation was, we did see A.B. leave. Pete, you were quick to Twitter. You said you get what you get for bringing Antonio Brown onto your roster. We'll start with you on this incident. Well, yeah, I mean, look, he's been a problem everywhere he's been. He quit on the Pittsburgh Steelers. He quit on the Raiders. Now he quit on, on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there's clearly something wrong with him. And he needs to get help. Forget about football. He needs to get help away from uh, the football field. He's got some issues. And when I was there in the summer, I was watching practice, and Antonio Brown started acting up. Uh, he didn't get the ball thrown on one deep ball, and he started acting up. And he came over by the defensive backs and started barking at him. And he continued to act up, and he was, you know, acting like a baby. And I said to some of the people there, I said, look, this is going to be a problem for you during the season. And what I heard was that there was some other issues last year, that he wasn't exactly the, the you know, the fuzzy, warm teammate that every, everybody portrayed him to be. And, and so there was an issue with Antonio Brown. There's always going to be an issue with Antonio Brown. Great player, works hard, practices hard, loves the game. But there's too much baggage that goes along with it. Uh, they can sit here and say, hey, we want a Super Bowl. We brought him in. We want a Super Bowl. So it worked. Uh, I think they probably win that Super Bowl even without him. BMAC, I'm wondering, as a former player, you know Antonio Brown's history. We have all witnessed it across the media over the past several years. When you saw this happening as a former player, let's say you were on the <clears throat> sideline. What was your reaction when you saw him do that? Amanda, I was super surprised. And the reason why I was surprised is because Two, base, two, two, two major reasons. Number one, the respect that he has for Tom Brady clearly has been documented. Tom got A.B. To, to New England. That didn't work out. And then Tom got A.B. another chance in, in his NFL career with Tampa. And we know how much they both respect each other. So for you to remove yourself from that ball game, knowing the respect that we thought A.B. had for Tom Brady, already knowing that he had no room for error with the fake uh, vaccine card that led to a three-game suspension, he removed himself. And then secondly, for me, what made me so surprised is that I know how much he loved the game of football. He actually removed himself from a live game that he was already in the flow of, involved in, the game plan. He removed himself from a game. That's one thing we all would agree when it comes to A.B., if you know him personally or if you know him just as a fan and watching him go about his business in a professional way in a ball game. This man loves football. So for him to remove himself during a game, this wasn't practice. This wasn't a preseason game. This was a legit, meaningful ball game. That definitely surprised me. 
surprised you. You said he, he quit the game. Has he quit the game of football by doing this? Oh, no question. In my opinion, yes. Um, I mean, we just saw a laundry list of negative things associated with A.B. on a graphic. And last year, granted, he might have had some issues. Uh, they didn't become big time issues. They, didn't, they weren't talking points for all of us in the media. But what he did yesterday, the entire world, NFL world, saw that. He became the biggest talking point while games were still being played. And we're still talking about this today. So me personally, I don't see another team taking a chance on Antonio Brown when in regards to playing in the NFL ever again. A lot of people thought that maybe about a year or so ago. Pete, I'll ask you the same question. I'm also curious how frustrating you think this is for Tom Brady. Uh, if you want to answer that, and does Antonio Brown ever play in the NFL again? No, I don't think he does, and, and nor should he. Uh, you know, again, I go back to his history, his track record. It, and, you know, he quit on the Steelers, he quit on the Raiders, and now he quit on the Bucks. And this is a team that you know rolled out the red carpet for him because of Tom Brady. He wanted him in the organization. Here, here's the other thing about Antonio Brown. I mean, he came up and made himself into a great player. Nobody saw this coming. This is a Hall of Fame career. He's a special football player. And to throw it all away uh, in so many different ways is just absurd. And it tells you that this is a player who's much more troubled than just being a football player in terms of, of uh, you know, the arrogance of it and how great he is. Because I think there's issues off the field. We've, we've heard so many stories. He didn't want to pay this guy. He didn't want to pay that guy. Like he's above it all. Look, there are rules for everybody. I don't care how great a football player you are. I don't care who you are in life. There are rules that have to be followed. And right now, Antonio Brown, for whatever reason in his life, has decided he's not going to follow the rules. And if you don't follow the rules, there's repercussions. And the repercussions is he shouldn't be able to play in the National Football League again.